Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Melissa Trace and I am coming to you from the Treasure House and let's get started. We've got a brand new list of items that are going to be going into my eBay page which be, will be linked in the comments of this video. Okay, the first thing is these great little dishes. I believe that they're just like soy sauce dishes or dip something for your side dip or something dressing, you know, what have you. But um, I thought they were really pretty, and they're probably more current, more like 15, last 15 years. But I thought they were just so pretty. I love the colors, and they're just super real sturdy, real heavy potting, pottery kind of an item. So I grabbed those babies up fast. Came across this lovely little um, vase and actually it's hand painted it's quite pretty I'm thinking it's a vase I could be wrong because the inside of it you can't really see that too well because I don't have a flash here going um, the inside of it is wood so and it doesn't go down very deep so I'm not sure if you could put fresh flowers in here or not I think that would warp the wood and I don't think you could use it for a candle because it would set on fire so I'm not exactly sure what this is used for there's a signature down here I'm assuming of the artist there is some cracks and damage here and there um, so, but uh, it is made in Yugoslavia, right down there at the bottom of the, at the bottom of the label, you can see that it's Yugoslavia, and I'm thinking I'm going to put it up as is. I'm really not sure what it is. If you guys can clue me in, that would be great. I am all for that. Came across some more Christmas stuff, you guys. I, I can't resist it, and he was sitting there being so patient. Um, it is an ornament. He's very decorative and uh, so yeah so I had to grab him up and he fits on top of this very well <laughs> so you could buy both pieces I guess <laughs> here's a um, made in Japan um, I believe this is wood uh, made in Japan um, coaster set there is a little damage to the lid the lid ended up with a crack somehow. I don't remember seeing that when I came across it, but I miss things frequently in my excitement of finding things. So, um, but these coasters are really kind of cool. Um, bamboo, maybe? I'm not sure. If you guys know, hey, let me know. <laughs> I found this big fella. He's just too darn cute. Look at the face. The face is just adorable. So, yeah, he's a cow of many colors. Probably the last 15 years, maybe 10 years. But who could resist him? And he's got these great chrome feet and this great chrome face and chrome tail. And he's actually kind of weighty, too. I'm not sure what he's made out of, but he's so awesome. I couldn't pass him up. I found this little gem. It's really a pretty little plate. Um, I turned it over and it had an explanation of, I believe it's called chalking. Um, and I thought that was really kind of cool. So I picked this up and thought, yeah, why not? I'll post that on my page. And it's made in Japan, and um, it's just a lovely, lovely piece. So, yeah. All right. Moving along. I don't normally go for baskets, but he was excellent. He has both his eyes. He has a complete beak. And his tail. His tail is totally intact. Just lovely. He's just in such pretty shape. I don't know if he's more current or what, but I grabbed him. Okay, let's move on. Uh, hold on there. Sorry to make you dizzy, folks. For the fall, or just because, I just had to grab him up. He is really pretty. I've never seen anything like him. He's got one little ding. But boy, is he pretty and heavy. He's pretty heavy. 
<laughs> so I thought I'd put him on my page too. Okay, let's get on to the jewelry portion of the show. A stretch bracelet. It's kind of cool. I think these are just plastic, truthfully. There's a, a ding or two on one of them, but not like a gouge or anything. I think it's just a, I don't know, maybe it's just a reflection or something. But it's really neat how these um, stones look up in real life here. <laughs> so I'm hoping that the camera will get that when I take pictures. I came across another cuff bracelet. I'm just finding them everywhere. I've got two others on my page already that are different, really different. And then found this complete white one. So one is multicolored, one is blue with blue, um, I don't know, some kind of a material in it other than beads. And uh, so this all white one. This was kind of nice. I grabbed this one up. Um, it's a stretch band and the blue rhinestones in it are just really pretty and they seem to all be in there. So if not, I'll let you know on the post there. Another stretch band. I got this one because the bead, bead work was just so interesting. And um, the tag was still on there, Avenue, and this went originally for 12 bucks. So I was like, whoa. <laughs> I'm not sure what these beads are made out of, but it sure is cool. So I grabbed it. Another bracelet. You can hear the jinglings. <laughs> it's a Christmas bracelet. But I thought the colors were just so pretty and vibrant. And, you know, the, the beads were just really neat. And, you know, just a cool snowman. Cool Santa was on there. And I love the blue and green. And let's see. We'll move on to pins. I found this real pretty basket pin. Um, the stones in the were are in the middle of the flowers, which is kind of cool. But all the stones are intact. So I was like, oh, that's really nice. I didn't see a maker or mark on it, but I really haven't looked that closely yet. But I thought it was really pretty. I came across this angel pen. Who doesn't like angel pens? And this angel is a winking angel. There's just a little eyeball winking there. And I thought that was really cute. And the other eyeballs open. <laughs> and um, the was there a maker on this one? No, I don't think so. I think it was on this one I saw like a geometric shape. I don't know if that's a maker mark or not. But um, yeah, those two are really cute. So I grabbed them up. And I found a snowman. He's so cute. He's probably a hobby's pe hobbyist piece, but boy, he was cute. And I grabbed him up in a heartbeat. <laughs> and I took something out of my own treasure, treasure chest. This is, I'm not sure if this is leaded glass. I don't think it is. Um, I think it's just plain glass. But when the lights shine through it, it's, it, it does act like a prism. And of course, the cats go crazy. Um, but you can hang it. There's a way to hang it. You can string some line through there and you can hang it in your window. And it's just really pretty. And it's, like I said, it's very heavy. So, but I think it's just glass. And then I came across a uh, Chico's piece. Chico's necklace, which I thought was really nice. This beadwork is just so interesting. I thought this is like a fabric covered bead and then there's wood beads and there's like clear glass these are glass beads and yeah I just thought it was so neat just all different kinds of beads and I think these are I don't know I think they might be plastic but they might be glass too I'm not sure and then there's these metal beads and stuff so yeah I grabbed that up I thought that was really unique and then let's see here I'm bending over I came across this really beautiful tray. I thought this was just lovely. And I had to grab this up, this console tray. And um, it's red on the back, um, kind of a terracotta in color. And it says that it's handcrafted in um, Umbria, Italy. Handcrafted in Italy. So. 
I can't pronounce the first word there. So if you guys know how to pronounce it, will it focus? Focus? No, it's not going to focus. It needs glasses just like I do. So there's that lovely console tray. And then you might be wondering what this is in the background. Well, these are two panels that my husband came across and he brought them home. He says, hey, you know what? Maybe you could sell these on your page or sell them in Marketplace or something. I said, yeah, okay, that's a great idea. So um, I cleaned them up a bit and found out that this one has two cracks. I was so sad. These are just really nice pieces. Maybe the other crack is down there, but this is like a major crack, so I would never try to send that through the mail. But um, this one, I'm thinking I may post it on my eBay page. I'm not sure. It's so heavy, and I'm not sure if it would make it. So what do you guys think? Should I post this on eBay and just have it as a pickup, or I don't know. What are your opinions? So that is my most current haul. I think I got everything. And like I said, if you guys know anything about any of these items that I'm going to be posting, please feel free to comment and let me know because like I've said before, I am no expert at all. I just like shiny things. <laughs> as you can tell. So y'all have a great day and a great rest of the weekend and um, stay safe. Toodaloo. Bye.